Chew that. Well. Don't put gum on your bleachers, people. Because 60 years from now, somebody might be trying to use those bleachers as floor. And then he's got to go around and cut all your gum off. So don't do that. That one doesn't have a smell. Oh, that one smells good. Now it's watermelon. This is kind of fun. I think that's everything. Better than it was. Quite a collection. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Stone House. Um, let me try that again. That was awkward. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Stone House. Sanding day. Uh, new territory. I'm a little nervous about it. I'm a little worked up. I'm a little bit of a, in a tizzy. Last night, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I went and bought, I bought, rented the oscillating sander. It's like a big random orbital sander. And I sanded, I sanded Elspeth's closet for about 45 minutes or so. And it, it worked. It just took forever. That being said, this morning I went out and rented this one, which is the drum sander. These are way more aggressive you have to be careful with these because they'll eat into the wood pretty quick. Um, but I figured it's it's worth it for me. I need to plug it in. So I'm hoping I can make one pass and get these floors relatively close, and then I'll use the oscillator as my final for my final pass. I hope I'm making sense. I'm a little, like I said, I'm a little discombobulated right now. Um, it's just a lot of work to come to this point and to be sanding and, you know, you're worrying about damaging the floor. Floor finishes. How are we going to finish the floor? Sarah and I, we, we've talked about this for years, years and years and years, and we've gone back and forth on different things. What it's come down to is kind of simple. You know, my, my general theme for this house is new looking old, or it's old. It's not even looking old. I mean, like, this is old wood. This is not new wood to look old. This is old. Same with my ceiling in the stairway, which I can show you. Like, that's old wood. Anyways, we're not gonna change our thought process any, any different for this floor. As you know, this is bleacher material from an old high school. So yes, I'm sanding the floor 
but I'm not trying to sand the floor to perfection. And then as far as a finish goes, we want to put something on this wood tra that's traditional, but we're not trying to be traditional in it. Like this house, we're not trying to be traditional, right? But we do like the idea of a floor finish that's more traditional in the sense that it's like, you know, a oil and then maybe a wax. And yes, the floor might get scratched, but you can just reapply. And if you do get, you know, if the floor got wet for whatever reason, you may have to clean that up a little quicker than if you had like a polyurethane. We feel like as far as a floor finish goes, if we do a linseed oil beeswax mix, which is a traditional way to finish a floor, the linseed oil will, will give you actually quite a bit of protection. The, the wax gives you a quite a bit of protection. But in the end, you know, I'm okay with these floors not looking new. And I think that's that's the part that needs to get a, that, that needs to get across the internet waves right now, is that I'm okay with this floor not looking new even after all the work I've done. And that's just not gonna make sense to some people. Some people may think I'm crazy, but that's, the reality of, is just exactly that, that when somebody comes up here and doesn't know anything about the renovation and they see these floors, I would prefer they think these floors have been here since day one. I'm gonna leave it at that, because I could, I could talk about it all day long and some people will just disagree with me forever. Um, I would obviously probably get some people to kind of understand where I'm coming from, but that's, it is what it is. Yeah. Okay. Seven minutes. Yeah. I'll try to take that seven minute rant and make it watchable. Should be fun. Let's see how good this goes, right? I've never used a sander like this. So. So this thing. So nervous. I messed up, but it's okay. It's okay. I should have gone um, against the grain for my first pass, and then my second pass I could go with the grain. It's okay. I'm gonna go against the grain for my second pass though, and then however the floor looks, it looks, and then what I'm gonna do is use the orbital sander to finish this floor with a, maybe 100 grit, and that's still gonna take a while, but this certainly is speeding up the process because that drum sander, I don't, I don't know if you could tell in the video or whatever, but I just did this whole floor in 15 minutes, which is amazing because just the closet took me 45 minutes yesterday with the orbital sander. This is that sandpaper with the orbital. Look how big that is. When you see the big craters in the moon, it's because they go up and they take like a whole bunch of sand for stuff like this, just, you know, one big scoop. That's where the craters come from. Pretty scientific, actually. All right, let's uh, let's do the second pass. Your eyes, they pulled me in. Oh, there's a fire. Feels like I'm floating, careless. Nothing matters. Holding on and on, holding on with you in my mind. Can you see it? I swear there's no need to win me. I know we never met, but I still know you all along. There's a place that I belong to Holding on and on, holding on with you Feels like home and on, feels like home and you're around It's getting real, drunk on your light I know you like it, let's stay right here All night in each other's home I 
I don't want to sand all these floors down an eighth of an inch or more to try to get them to be perfect. Because as I stated before, perfect is not what we're... Perfect town is not where we are visiting today. I also don't want to visit mess up your floor village. Or what the heck were you thinking city? Now I know it's working though because this is pretty full of sawdust. I'm gonna go empty this actually. I'm not gonna be able to get that to be a consistent looking sand, probably. I'm gonna go empty this, I'll be right back. But I was dumping out the dust from sanding these floors into this old fire pit. We've never really liked this fire pit and actually the plan is probably to demolish it when we're done with the construction. But as I was over here, dumping the dust in look at this so this piece is broken clearly but you can see the last name Biznet, one of the owners to the house i mean i knew one of the owners built this but i didn't know who and i didn't know when and now i have a very good guesstimate of when this was made and who made it exactly who made it which is really wicked cool and it makes me not want to get rid of this i think i'm gonna have to restore it and uh, maybe even redo the name thing with the date if I can figure out exactly what that says for the date. I love stuff like this. Absolutely love it. I'm very happy with the way the plugs turned out. They just they look really good. I'm really happy with the way it turned out where I filled the cracks. It's quite a bit of sawdust on the floor. So I'm going to I'm going to quickly get the shop back and clean, you know, suck that all out of here. And then we'll be able to get a good idea of what this looks like. Uh, it's really smooth. Just in case I can't make sense of it for the video, what I ended up doing was three passes with the drum sander at 36 grit. And then I went over the whole thing twice with 36 grit on the orbital sander. And then I did the whole thing twice at 60 grit. And then I went over it twice with 100 grit, all with the orbital sander. So it is, it is relatively smooth. The cracks are all the same, you know, level. There's no weird thing going on with the floor. I think it goes without saying that it doesn't look perfect. The camera is not going to do justice to this. And if anything, maybe the camera makes it look better than what it really looks. But... I mean, it's insanely different. It, it, it's so much lighter. I think you can tell that. And some would say they like the dark floor more. But you can, you know, once we oil this or wax it or whatever we do, this is going to darken a little bit. Not a lot, but a little. Big differences, though. All right, I'm gonna go home and eat something and 
I'll probably come back and I'm hoping that maybe today, if I do this room today, then tomorrow I can do that room and this little tiny landing. This landing is probably the same square footage as one of the bedrooms. So, but still, if I can get two rooms done today and then these two areas done tomorrow, well then I guess that's, that's winning. <laughs> It kind of balances on wheels in the middle. See that? See that? Go ahead and push it up and down. Yeah, see that? So when it's all the way back, it doesn't sand. When it's up like this, you can push it around, but it's not sanding. The only time it sands is when it's up like this. Okay? I noticed that. Yep, so let's go all the way to the beginning. And we can switch it on, which is right there. Six grit and if you can envision an inch by an inch you're supposed to be able to count that and have 36 bumps that true? I don't know to me it looks like more this might not be 36 though this might be 60 I'm not really sure I think it's a hundred you think that's a hundred but that's how that's how you do it here I'll show you come here we'll look at this See, this is 20. See all the bumps? Oh yeah, there's definitely less. Yeah, so there's only 20 for every inch. That's right. And then let's compare that to a piece of 100. So which one do you think gives you a smoother finish? Um, this one. Yeah. But this, this uh, 20 grit would work really good at that. Because it's so coarse. I mean, look at that. This one. 80 and 100 are almost the same, aren't they? Yeah. But then if you look at like, like 36, see? Is there anything smaller than 20? No. You can get some one. <laughs> no. That's just, that's just one rock glued onto a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Will you remember? 
to recap the day, I got done exactly what I thought I would get done. I got, you know, two rooms completed, except for the edging. All good things take time, that's the saying. And I think if you want to be happy with how these floors are gonna end up looking, you've gotta take your time when, with them. So we still have a little bit of filling, hand sanding, you know, it, it's eh. certainly not an easy project, certainly not a fast project. But it's a major one because the floor, you know, it's, it's the floor. It's kind of, kind of a big deal. I don't Oh, I'm tired. How's that? Looks good. Yeah. Looks real good. I like it a lot. Oh man, they feel exact. Do you want to try? Sure. Okay, let me get the camera. Don't they feel exactly the same level? Well, basically. What do you mean basically? I think that's pretty good. I can, I, I know that they're probably going to feel the same way almost. Yeah. It's just that this, I know what, and this, I know is the painted one. Okay. So then when I run my hand over this, I know that this part is Well, one different. feels a little different right now, you're right, because one's a lot newer, but... Yeah. They look the same, they feel the, they, they feel the same height, I guess, right? Yeah, I know. I shared quite a bit of the sanding process on Instagram, but I'm gonna show you real quick. One of the spots I think I was most concerned about, I guess, as far as looking good was right here, because as you come up the stairs and you're looking across the floor, I wanted to make sure you weren't gonna see any weird bumps or anything weird, I, I don't know. Just something that would catch my eye, and I can say there is nothing that catches the eye. Same with when you're going down the stairs, you know, you can see the floor over here and you can see the floor all through here, but nothing, nothing catches your eye. One spot that was always messed up was this first board here is a 13 inch board. It was my only big board and I put it there on purpose. There was always kind of a hump right here with it and I sanded it as much as I could to get that hump out. It's, it's not perfect but it is a lot better than it was. On top of sanding all this edge, I also still need to take some sawdust epoxy and fill all these little tiny bolt holes. I like the way these boards turned out, actually, I should say that. It's just kind of cool how you get all the way back here. You know, it, it really is cool being able to see all these single boards that just go forever, love it. Lily's room probably turned out the best just because, as I said, her room had no cracks. So it just, I don't know, I think it just looks pretty good. No real big staining marks, you know, some little tiny holes to fill. Oh, there is one thing. There's a crack, uh, one board sticks up right through here, but it stops right around in here. But you can see, I could not sand that any more aggressively. It is an eye catch, so what I might do is get in there by hand and sand it down, mostly just sloping this one piece so it's flush with the other. And then once that black line is gone, it won't be such an eye catch. Hope that makes sense. I mean, her room in general, though, turned out really good. She oiled her wall there. You can see she only oiled as far as she could reach. Uh, I think it looks kind of cool being two-tone. 
I don't, I don't imagine I'll leave it like that, but I do, I do like it. So, yeah. Oh, and I noticed, look at this. Listen, listen. Yeah, we're definitely fixing that. But that's it. Uh, rough sanding. Well, all of it's down to 100 grit, and that's as far as I'm going to go. I don't see the point in going any more than that. These, these floors are going to look rough no matter what I do. If I would have paid somebody to do that, I would like to know what it would cost me. Maybe it's per square foot or something. I don't really know how they charge. Um, I know that they may have done a better job or something like that, but it also probably would have cost me a couple dollars per foot. Minimum, right? Um, all right. Oh, my glasses. I've been looking for these. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I guess I'll just see you next time I turn the camera on. Have a good week, everybody. What are you guys doing? You want to fly the drone? Yeah. We got a new toy. We got another good toy. Another good toy. On Facebook Marketplace, someone was selling a barely used uh, Mavic Pro uh, drone. And this is something that I've wanted for a while, so I kind of, kind of took the opportunity to buy it because um, they don't come up used very often, and if they do, they're usually not in very good shape. So do you want to show them the eyes and the mouth? Well, they get really close. See over here, there's an eye, another eye, and a mouth. About it's a right shark. there. In the <laughs> We do it. Oh, I should be recording, shouldn't I? This world is small, but full of things that we will never know. Answers to questions. We try to find the reason that we live and why we die But I know what I've seen Simple mystery So come on babe Let's not waste a moment or another day With answers to questions Let's live our lives finding a meaning of a different Look at this one. Woo! Oh. Oh, that one's deep. Wow. To the river. To the river we go. Leave our worries on the shore and drift away. On the river. On the river we know Sometimes the perfect words are never said I spilled my coffee I don't feel like talking My worries just keep growing by the day I need a moment where The green and blue appear Spin a rock and watch the ricochet To the river To the river we go Leave our worries on the shore and drift away On the river On the river we know Sometimes the perfect words are left unsaid Change your mind when you're intertwined with the water and the waves. As I grow older, well, that boat I'll never sell. It works better than the pills.
the doctor gave And with that old 